but we've got well not necessarily the biggest fight in the world coming up in July but potentially the biggest fight one of the biggest fights ever in British boxing history it's Upton Park it's July 14th it won't be in the middle of the night don't don't care what rumors you've heard it will be at a sensible time 10:30 quarter to 11 something like that maybe even slightly Earlier in one corner, uh, David Hay, former world heavyweight champion, former cruiserweight champion. In the other corner, Derek Delboy Chisora, former British champion, last seen in action, really pushing, uh, really pushing Vitaly Klitschko. In a 12-round fight that people have tended to overlook for obvious reasons. Obviously, we all know what happened in Munich after that terrific fight. Now, one man that helped Derek prepare for the Vitaly Klitschko fight and is with him now helping him prepare for the July 14th fight is my next guest and it's a delight and a pleasure to welcome onto my brand new sofa my nice nice studio Don Charles Don thanks for coming in hallelujah. nice to get hallelujahs and and get and screams it's like the Beatles you're getting hallelujahs and the Beatles screams uh, uh, Don I'll just ask you quickly about that fight because I saw sure. you nodding did you watch the Pacquiao fight I did indeed yeah. and, and how did you have it Don well, like everybody else, you know, um, I mean, the scoring, you have to question in the days of the technology, what we have today, how can these things happen? Well, we've still got 74 year old yeah. men and 71 year you know, old men. It shouldn't happen, but yeah. it does. It's happened a number of times mm. recently and it shouldn't happen. There have been too many of them. Don, I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about Munich, but not about the stuff that happened in Munich after the fight. I'm sort sure. of putting a ban on talking about that because I don't care about that anymore. It's over. Mm. Uh, but I'm going to talk about something that we haven't talked about. I mean, I spoke to Derek when he came in here and it took him a couple of minutes to realise what I was asking him. Mm. I want to talk about the fight. I want to talk about that Klitschko fight i want to talk about the changing room before the fight that sort sure. of aggravation and walking sure. out to the ring how how cl how close to the edge was derek in that 30 40 minutes before the first bell yeah. in munich to maybe losing it or even leave it sure sure i mean it's something that it's been overshadowed um yeah. through all the nonsense that's been going on um i was in that dressing room and um what the klitschko's portray to the general public it's not really what it's like behind the scenes. And we've never really gotten the opportunity to, to tell our to side tell of us, it. To put it straight. Yeah. And um, I'm not going to go too deep. I'm just going to... Just touch the surface. The... Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. You can. Um, all I can say to you is that they're very smart, the Klitschko's. And I have to admire them for that. They're very, very <laughs> smart individuals. Um, hence why they, um, they're world champions for a long period. And period. loved. World yeah. champions and yeah, loved. Yeah, yeah. Look. Personally, I think they're really nice people. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not talking about we're talking about boxing now. Yeah. They're nice. <laughs> <laughs> Away from the boxing, and I heard they do a lot of, for charity. They do, they yeah, do, yeah. And in, in Africa and places like that. So I really admire them for, for, for that. But we're in the same business as them, the fighting game. Yeah. Okay. And what they do behind the scenes, um, I don't personally agree the way they do it. Um, they, definitely, they um, Vladimir was in our changing rooms as one of the people to watch Derek's hands um, being wrapped. And um, it was their deliberate to obviously get under Derek's skin, and it did. Um, Dean Powell, who we all know, um, Dean's wrapped millions of hands mm -hmm. at a very high world championship yeah. level. So he knows what he's doing. He does the best hands, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And um, so Vladimir was commissioned to uh, watch Derek's hands being wrapped. He was standing over. Don't forget, Derek's sitting down having his hands yeah. done. And he's like... Standing over Derek, Threaten literally standing yeah. over it, you know, in pose. a threatening manner. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah his body language, yeah, yeah. okay, and he's got this smirk on his face yeah. that he always Which does. Which we saw, really, really Steve annoying. Steve Lillis interviewed yeah. him walking in, and he's and, got that smirk. And and may I add, right, it's not fair that he actually lied. He lied. He said the hands was being done illegally. Yeah. Which is a big lie. Yeah. The, we had the WBC official in that room, mm. right. He waited till Derek's hand was complete. If there's anything wrong, you should you say, hold on, there stop, there. stop, that's of course. Wrong. He waited till one hand was complete, said, right, that's not right, got to take it off. Okay? This is when Derek said, hang on a sec, you know, the official, the WBC official was in, in there mm. officiating the hands being done. So we turned around and said to the WBC representative, um, is there anything wrong with that uh, hand, sir? He said, no. He, he didn't actually speak. He went, I said, so why did you not intercept Vladimir? Who's running this, you or Vladimir? Okay, so now when Vladimir came out to the hallway, this is afterwards, I watched yeah, it yeah, back. Course, he course. said that the hands were being done illegally, yes. nonsense. 
nonsense. The WBC official did not see anything wrong with the hand. It was him just trying to unsettle Derek. The ploy is to unsettle Derek. And it worked. It worked at that time, yeah. It worked. Yeah. At one point, Derek got up and said, you know what, I'm not fighting. That's it. I'm not fighting. And yeah. throughout all of this, there was no border control official. That's one of the, right. the sticky points, isn't right. it? Right. And not a lot of people know this either. So we had a man, Tunde Ajayi, yeah, in their, Tunde, in their room. He was uh, monitoring Vitali's hand being done. Yeah. So I made my journey to their room just to see what's happening because all the officials was in our room. Yeah. When I got to Vitali's room, to my surprise, there's not one official, not one official. So in, it's just Tunde and just Vitali's Tunde, people. Just Tunde, Vitali's people. And I said... Wait a minute. I said to Vitali, this is how you guys run it. Where's the officials? And he looked at me. I said, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Where are the officials to monitor your hands being done? He couldn't reply to me. I won't say what else I said to him because it wasn't nice. I was really... I was at this I was point, furious. you're angry. Because you know Derek's boiling yeah. over as well. I was well. furious, yeah. So I went, made my way back to our room. I informed Frank Warren. He said, right, I'll deal with it. And... Um, you know, they, I think eventually they managed to get an official in there, wow. into the other, other room. And I, I think the whole thing, so they've, got, they've got rules for different... different. Well, they've got too much... I mean, no, listen, it's not talking out of term. We're not going to allow... No, absolutely not. They've got it's too much truth. power, haven't it's they? The they? They have yeah. too much power at their own promotion. I'm afraid so. Yeah. And it's not fair. You should be on even playing grounds, as far of as I'm course. concerned. Yeah, You're going to fight for a world title, the biggest title in the world. I think you should be given a fair crack at the thing from the beginning, from the off. Things that happen in the uh, directing rooms matters a lot mm. to a fighter. How many fighters have you seen come out? They're frozen because yeah, they've course. got to them and they get knocked out in the first round. And that was it, a danger. Yeah. And yet, I mean, but once Derek got out, yeah. once the fight, I mean, you know, I know there was the incident in the ring, mm -hmm. uh, but once the boxing started, you wouldn't have believed he'd had any aggravation, any problems or well, there's anything on that, his mind. Don't... That's, that's Del Boy being Del Boy. Uh, like I said, you could give me a hundred, a thousand heavyweights. I'll choose him all day long. You know why? The kid always turns up to fight. Yeah, that's true. Always. Yeah. Even when he was, even when he was boxing his first four and six minute round fights. Most definitely. He, he got the come. guys out and around. He still came he, to have a fight. He will come to fight, Derek. Now, as that, as that fight progressed, at what point, Don, did you think to yourself, Phew, you know what? We've got a, we've got a proper mm. chance here. Was it was it when Vitali started to panic himself a little bit? You know when Vitali yeah. did that running thing a few yeah, times. Yeah, did. Um, yeah, I mean, look, nobody's ever pressured him like that no to one. the degree where he's turning his yeah. back and turn. Look, I'm, as, as I sit here, I'm still very disappointed we didn't win. And you can tell. Did we not believe we could win that fight? We wouldn't have gotten that plane. No, of course, I appreciate we're not that. taking the fight. I appreciate that. Right? Haven't taken the fight. Got we went there to win yeah. the fight. I, I, I appreciate it, but what I'm saying is there is that point. You know, we all go out in the ring to win, no mm -hmm. problem. But then during the fight, you think, you know what? We're going to pull this off here. Yeah. We, you know, because because it's you know, it's, Derek's taking some good shots. Derek's admitted, admitted he took some good it shots. Got, you know, it got hit like too Derek. frequent to my liking. But but yeah. yeah, well, he was he was he fancied it, didn't mm -hmm. he? He knew he had to take risks. Mm -hmm. But there was that point, you know, when perhaps the pace was getting a little bit to Vitaly, yeah, we knew that. If, and he was turning his mm -hmm, back, and mm -hmm. then he was using very mm -hmm. long shots and. Yep. And at that point, mm. it was half a turning chance. Most definitely. I mean, look, call it ex like Derek acknowledged at the end of the fight. He said, experience beat me today. Sure. Had he had more experience, I believe and there was a point where Vitaly turned yeah. on the rope to the side. Derek only hit him once. Now, an experienced fighter would have carried on. Times. The referee jumped into... Inter Why are you yeah. intervening? He's hitting the guy. Yeah, the guy's turning illegal. away. Yeah. The referee should never intervene at that point. Or equally, I you mean, know? the referee could have stopped it. If yes, you turn your back, you yeah, stop exactly. it. Exactly, yeah. Vitaly never got any warnings at any point for the, all the illegal fouls, the pushing, the you know, all sorts going on. I mean, look. So, so, so let, let, now before we walk up to the press conference where mm -hmm. we're not going to talk about, mm -hmm. you get back to the changing room. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know we've got to move on. I've got loads of stuff tonight, but I want to get mm -hmm. this clear. What's the mood like in the changing room after the fight? You've just pushed Vitaly Klitschko. Mm -hmm. You've really pushed mm -hmm. him. What's the mood like in the changing room? Mood is flat. Not a very nice place to be. I'll tell you why. Because I'm a perfectionist in life, yeah? And Derek Chisora, that was our chance to make history, number one. Number two, to become something that he's aspiring to become, yeah? You so don't losing get... well wasn't good No, enough. absolutely not. Right? We're not in here to become runners-up. No, no, no. We so being there. good losers is not yeah. part of the plan. It was flat. Don't forget, we don't have the privilege to watch replays. Yeah, of course As far not. as I was concerned, I was deeply, from a, a coach's perspective... I was really down because it hasn't worked. Our game plan hasn't worked. So you don't get reruns. It's only later on when you come back to England and you Watch start, it. everyone's telling you how great the fight is. No, it wasn't great initially. 
Okay, then when I watch it back, okay, yeah, I'm still criticizing a lot of things that but, we didn't do. We practiced to do them, we didn't do them. But you're still praising some of it. Most definitely. He, he was, it was very tough. Well, listen, um, you, you can't move. You've got to stay there, Don. I'm going to, I'm going to talk to someone else now. We're going to, when we come back, no when, I, when I come back to you, we're going to, when I come back to you, we're going to um, talk about what's happening now, where he's going to go. But let's just stay there. Now, on Saturday, Charles with me. Don, uh, Derek at the moment, I spoke to Derek, uh, well, had him in the studio about uh, two weeks ago. That's right. There's all sorts of rumours that mm -hmm. people were seeing him everywhere, saying he wasn't training and wasn't taking it seriously and he'd gone yeah. over there and he'd gone there. He looked in good nick. Mm. You, you, you're well into your training, mm -hmm. but are you going away? What's the plan between now and July? Yeah. July the seventh or whatever. Fourteenth. Um, we were going originally. I'm um, supposed to go away for camp to train, but you know what? Um, to prepare for Vitali, we stayed in England, so um, it worked well for us. Mm. And um, we were toying with the idea of going to Poland, and um, we've decided against it, so we're staying put. Might the football have been a bit of a distraction exactly, with exactly. the fans? Exactly, That's one of the reasons. And, you know, Derek's actually, believe it or not, he's loved over there. He's been there a few times yeah, on, a social, yeah, yeah. on social um, visits. He went there after the Vitaly fight, He, he did, yeah. yeah. And he's mobbed that. They absolutely love him out there. In, in Russia as well, the same. Yeah. You know, he has this uh, magic, Derek, you know, um, love well, we, him or hate Well, we him, saw him in Moscow when we had that fight that evening and he was, mm. that, he was dancing. That's and, right, yeah. yeah. He's, um, you know, like I said, he's a, look, he's a character yeah. and people relate warm to, to him. They're warm to that. And, um... He's a down-to-earth guy, and he's, you know, he, again, I'm not sitting here saying Derek walks around with a halo around his head. No, he doesn't. But he's a he's a lovable. Um, he's a lovable character. character. Yeah. Now, uh, with, with regards to the training uh, between now and you know whenever whenever you taper, taper it down. Will you bring sparring partners in? Have you got some established, or will you use yeah. old ones? I mean, can you can nah. you say any names, or are they a secret? Nah, I'm not privileged to because for obvious reasons. Yeah, um, it's a chess game, Steve. Yeah, they might uh, nick them. Um, it's not even that. Look, you saw. I'm sure the other party they've got their sparring partners, and they, they'll choose the right people to prepare for the job ahead. But. But right now, at the mm -hmm. point you are now, mm -hmm. whatever it is, five weeks out or whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. um, he's on course. Mm -hmm. So all, Most the, definitely, all yeah. those stories about Derek's look, not really look, ready for it. Derek is an out, out person. Yeah, he's yeah, an extrovert. Yeah. yeah, He doesn't like staying in. OK, I'm quite a strict coach. Mm. Provided that kid comes to the gym and gives me what I want sure. during training hours, yeah. OK, he, he doesn't drink. Yeah, exactly. It's not like he's that so boozing. It's not like he's in no. the gutter at three no, in the morning, absolutely. is it? He likes being around people. Yeah. I discovered this ages ago. Yeah, that right? relaxed him. Right? People got different vices, yeah? yeah? of course. That's his, he wants to be around people, okay? Now, that's how he operates. You've got to understand what makes your fighter tick, how they tick. So you can't just ban so, them and treat them all no, the same? No, absolutely, because they'll rebel. Yeah, they'll go course, the other yeah. way. And he's that kind of character. Mm. You know, he's a man. He's 28 yeah, years course, old. So, you know, if, if I've told the man, report to duty on time, which he does. Which he does. He's there. Put he it comes, in when you're there. He's more organised than people think. Yeah, Behind yeah, no, closed things. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's serious about, about the job, yeah? So provided he comes to, to, the, to the training in good shape, I, it gives me what I want. I'm happy. That, that's it with I'm you. I'm happy, yeah. Now, with regard to, to, to Hay, I mean, you know you know so much about him because you've seen his fights, even from ringside mm -hmm. or on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, the last 10 years, you've seen a lot of his fights. Yeah. Derek's seen yeah, a lot of his yeah. fights in mm -hmm. person or mm -hmm. on TV. So, you know, generally when you're fighting a heavyweight, mm -hmm. you maybe get to do some homework. Are you still doing homework? I mean, are you still studying... David's fights because you know because because David performs differently in different Most fights definitely. anyway. Look, he's, uh, look, his his trainer friends is Adam Booth. I respect the guy a, a million percent of because he's a, a he thinks in a modern way. Um, yeah, good point. And he his strategy he's he's going to be on it, um, but it's going to be very interesting. You know, trying to outwit him, and I'm looking mm. forward to, you know, because he, he's going to. I know Adam very well. What he's going to be trying to do. Yeah. And um, I'm going to try and outwit him. Simple. So I think it's going to be. Uh, I think that battle of the minds is very, going to be, very interesting. It's going to be right. important. Mm. Listen, Don, you can't go because we love you. You're going to speak to one Don, more. So, we, we, so we've gone through that. Like, the training, okay. We've gone through the night. Don, a bit about yourself. Then you box for Brixton. I did. Uh, okay. ABC. Yeah. Uh, you box for Brixton, ABC. Mm -hmm. But that's in South London. Don't that's you right. Finchley, did you? Because you ended up over that way before you were too old. Didn't that's you? right. That's I'm right. not saying you're too old. I'm saying I am. you know what I'm, I'm getting saying. on. Steve. You're not. You're not. I'm being. I'm, I'm being getting on. I'm getting on. Who was around when you were at Brixton? Right, um, basically, um, Danny Williams, yeah. Spencer Fearing, yeah. Marcus McRae. Yeah, who went to the Fitzroy Lodge later on. They're Danny all, went to the Lynn. That's right, they all started off at that club. They all went elsewhere. Okay, above the Half Moon Park. Half Moon Park at yeah. the Hearn Hill. I was the super heavyweight for that club. 
when Danny Williams, and there was a young man called Michael Povell, who was, he never turned over. Oh, Michael crazy. Povell, brilliant amateur, yeah. brilliant amateur, Michael. Um, but Danny was more dedicated, you know, always turned up for training. And believe it or not, when I was preparing for the ABAs, Danny was my official sparring partner. He was only 16 years old. Wow. I was 26, yeah. right? And that kid, I remember it one particular Sunday morning, the trainers put us in the ring um, for sparring. And <laughs> just out of being proud, Danny hit me. I still remember it till today. He hit me with a, a shot to my chest. Yeah. Only God knows. I thought, <laughs> do I go down? Do I not? Right? No, I stood up. And um, I, I will say this because I was 26, he was 16. I used to hold back on him. Danny will tell you this yeah, cool. himself. You're a lot bigger. I mean, he used to like give me hell, yeah, but yeah. I used to hold back on him. But I knew from that time this kid's going to make it because he used to hit like a man at the age of 16. Yeah. He used to he punched like a guy. Yeah, there was a period and there. And look what he went and undone. Yeah, exactly. Really proud of him. When he was 15, 16, yeah. he was a real stir. Yeah. Then eight, for 18 and mm. 19. Mm. Imagine how good Danny would have been. And I'm not talking mm. out of turn, Danny, if you're watching, because you know I love you and I've known you oh, a long, long listen, time. Listen, he's my brother. He's, 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 how good would Danny have been mm -hmm. if he'd have had a different head on sometimes? And I mean, and, and that's, yeah. that's not, I'm not being nasty. No, absolutely. I know everybody. It's well documented. Um, you know, even Danny himself, you know, I, sometimes I call him up um, before a fight and say, look, well, he said, look, it depends. He tells me it depends on what Danny... I said, yeah. what do you mean it depends he, no, he, he on what Danny turns yeah, up? Yeah, no. yeah? He doesn't said, know till he gets yeah. there. So this is what you have here. Um, I mean, Danny Williams, I mean, the ability the guy, the kid has, yeah, or I call him a kid. I will always call him a kid. In my yeah, eyes, he's always a kid. Yeah. And he's a big man, you know, with a family and uh, a lovely family. Um, but he, had he had a different mindset, okay, uh, you know, this kid, I mean, look, he beat Mike Tyson, you know, yeah. um, the way he did it. And, you know, know when, he, when, he, when he dealt, dealt with Tyson, there was still mm. a bit... Look, just one second, uh, Don, we've got to break away from you for, for mm. um, quite a decent guest, if you mm. don't mind me saying so. Mm. Now, so sorry for keeping you, Don. Oh, Listen, I'm going, I'm going to say pleasure. one thing, Don. Yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure okay. and a delight having you in. Brilliant. OK, and we'll see you closer. Oh, you got, you'll be at this press conference tomorrow, which yes, is going so. to be streamed live That's correct, on yeah. the www.boxnation.com from 1 o'clock. There's, there's going to be another press conference where the undercard will be announced. Don will be there with his fighter. The other people will be there with their fighter. Don, it's been an absolute pleasure and a delight Always having a you pleasure, in. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's